I'm really excited for our next guest. It uh, doesn't really feel like the offseason with how much we're talking about the Blue Jays. It's Danny Jansen, Blue Jays catcher. What's up, brother? How are we doing? Hey, what's happening, man? How are you? Nothing, dude. I'm, I'm all right. I'll, you know, I'll admit. I'm, I'll be a lot better if certain signings end up happening here. You know, like you wouldn't know anything about that, though. <laughs> I would not. No, I, I haven't. <laughs> I haven't really been too too involved in anything. Yeah, no, that's cool. Hey, but so seriously though, how how is the off season going? Like, I assume that you're feeling healthy. You're feeling good. Yeah, yeah, feeling good. Obviously, uh, priority for me was was uh, you know getting this finger going. Um, had the, had the surgery early September, and uh, you know was on the shelf the rest of the year. So it kind of started working out a little earlier this year, just because I, you know, had like four extra weeks of not doing much, right? So. Uh, started doing that, started doing some stuff. And then uh, while I was working out, I was, you know, incorporating like some occupational therapy on my finger and getting it going. So it's, it's been good, man. It, it's, uh, you know, obviously, you know, I never had like a finger injury like this and, you know, it's had its challenges of course, but, um, you know, it's definitely some time and, 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 and some patience with it and, and I'm feeling good. Are you a video game guy? Uh, I do, I do play some. Yeah, I do play some. Well, because I was gonna say, because the one good thing about being injured would you be thinking, all right, well, at least I have an excuse to do stuff like that, right? Like at least I can just chill up. And this is a finger injury, so it's like you can't even do that. <laughs> like, what did you do? What was the thing that you you add to the arsenal where you're like, hey, because you know, I, I always say is when you're an adult, it's kind of nice being sick sometimes. That's why a hangover isn't bad because it's almost like, oh, I deserve this day. You know, I deserve to chill out a little bit. <laughs> you got the injury and. You get to say, hey, I don't have to do the same amount of workouts. I'm obviously going to do my rehab. I'm going to be diligent here. But I get to do something that's a little bit more chill. I get to relax a little bit more. So you take that out of it. What's the replacement? Uh, I mean, I was, you know, I was in a cast for a little bit. And, yeah. and you know, we're talking, we're talking during the season. I mean, obviously, it, you know, kills you not to play out there. But, of course. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, you know, I was in a cast and stuff. So I was probably just substituting some video games for just some – TV shows and whatnot yeah. and, and, and all that. So, um, so yeah, it's, you know, I've unfortunately I've spent a you know, fair share, you know, too much time on the IL. So, uh, crushing me every time, but, um, yeah, finger ones are weird. Yeah, dude, it's pretty clear that you're a gamer and that you hate missing time, but do you want, Hey, I like as a non pro athlete, can I offer you some advice? <laughs> of course. Yeah. Stop getting hit by the baseball all the time. <laughs> Maybe, my, maybe I need to work on my swing a little bit and stop diving into the ball. Dude, they, they throw it really hard. Like, you catch it in your glove all the time. You call games. You should know better. You should know how hard they throw the baseballs and how much it hurts. Like, how many times do you know how many times you got hit last year? Uh, I got asked about it a couple of times. And you know what? I uh, I think it was, like, around 11 or something yeah, like that. But it all happened, it was 11 like, or 12. You know, it all happened so fast. I feel like it was in, like, two weeks. Uh yeah, man. But you, wait, wait till you see. I'm, I need a whole whole thing of armor on this whole left side of my body here. So maybe oh. I'll show up with. It. Oh, you got a you got a new little thing. You got a, you got a toy. You got body. Armor. <laughs> I, don't, I don't, but I don't. But if there's one guy that might benefit from it, my TV. Dude, you should. You should basically have you know like the movie Mad Max where they've all got the little outfits <laughs> like the post apocalyptic <laughs> yeah. like war gear. You got to get something like that, but for your forearm or for your finger, like something something to protect you, or just again. Get out of the way of the baseballs. I, it's funny because, you know, baseball fans, one of the, the things that we love to say when you guys get out of the way is in a big spot is just wear it, you know, just wear it. And then you watch a guy like you get his fingers shattered by one. You're like, oh, yeah, you maybe get out of the way, though. Maybe get out of the way from time to time. Probably hurts. Probably hurts a lot more than we think it does on TV. Well, I'll tell you what, I... When I broke my hand last year, I threw that hand pad on that, that, that you know, that hand protector, yeah. and that's been awesome. I mean, I got hit in the hand so many times this oh. year, and that's, I'll tell you another thing. I, I definitely wanted to, like, try to get on the dish a little bit more, and, uh, and you know, that was something that, yeah, if you look at it, I don't think I, I, I really was much closer, but at least mentally I might have felt it, um, which, you know, could, you know, do its work and be fine like that anyways, but, um, so yeah, I, I'll definitely take that into consideration. I appreciate it. I, yeah. I uh, definitely don't want to get hit in the hands and stuff Yeah, and, uh, and all that. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's just some little bit of bad luck. I think in a, in a row. Yeah. Just a little, you know, friendly advice, less getting hit by baseballs in the hands. 
is the key. Is that I actually think it's like that, that's my know, goal for next year. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, if we were gonna sit down and I broke out the whiteboard and I was like, hey, what are our goals? I would say like at the top, no more baseballs in the hands. This would be on the list. I would put that yes, at the very yes, top please. of the blackboard. It would be a good one for you. I like that. I like this plan. Uh, Cause yeah, dude, people want to see you, you play. You were, you had a really good season, dude. Like you, you were having a great year. You were one of the more threatening guys at the plate. Um, and you were clutch this team. Okay. Do you have a theory about the runners in scoring position thing from last year? Cause you were pretty clutch in the end of games. And I wonder if you guys as a felt like as a group, you felt like maybe it started to weigh on the team that you guys had to, you cause you had to become painfully aware of it at some point. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it was no, you know, it became non us a little bit. You know, I think more toward like the middle and end of the year. It's like, all right, what, you know, maybe what what can we do a little bit differently? Obviously, to produce some more runs and and uh, you know, I don't think that you know everybody's adding extra pressure. I can just kind of speak on myself. I know like certain situ- situations, I definitely feel a little bit more comfortable in, and that's like guys on uh, third base. You know, less than two outs where it's just really simple. I think that I kind of excel personally when it's a simple mind, simple thought in my head. Like I'm just trying to get the ball in the air. Like I, I remember, I hit a, a a home run. It was a walk off, and it was just a guy third and second and third, they one out, and and I was just trying to be aggressive and get the ball in the air, and that was something that I think that when I have simple thoughts like that in certain situations, then it really helps me out. So, um, so yeah, you know, all the you know being clutch and stuff, you know, yeah, it was awesome, and it was something that I think that um, just still the last two years, and even you know into this year and stuff, just just trying to get better with my approach and trying to, you know, I kind of feel like I'm finding out a little bit more about who I am and, and uh, it's, a, it's a freeing feeling. So I was very excited about it. Yeah. That's sick. That's the Yankees game, right? Are you talking about? Yeah. 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 yeah so, but I, I like that answer though, right? Where you're just saying, Hey, I'm not obviously, you know, trying to put too much pressure on myself. I'm just trying to go up and have the same approach as I normally would. And I, I guess that, that does beg the question of, I asked this to Marco Estrada recently because this guy is just clutch. He was nails in the postseason. But is is that clutch to you, just being able to kind of maintain your game plan in those spots? Like, what what does that mean to you? Do you even believe in it? I, yeah, I think, um, you know, what helped me throughout the year with stuff like that in certain situations was, was uh, you know, just being, like, having, a, like, one thought and just being simple. And I think that it relaxed, it relaxed me. You know, it really, it, it kind of took the, Obviously, you know, you know, you feel it, and you're in the box, and you know, it's a chance to end the game and do all these things. But if you can benefit and you can get a little bit more relaxed, a little bit more comfortable, and uh, you know, have some confidence with that, and I think that um, for me personally, I think that just having simple thoughts and one task in mind is is, is what the answer for me. Mm. Yeah, that's a good answer. Okay, so I joked about it a little bit, but you guys, you have to be like in a group chat looking at rumors, right? It's got to be weird because. Like, I know last season for you, you were in a lot of trade rumors that that was happening. So it's probably not the best time of year where certain guys on the team might get dealt or some guys might end up leaving, right? You guys have a bunch of pending free agents. You don't want to ask guys about like, hey, what's going on with you? Are you going to be coming back? How's things like I'm sure there's that kind of separation. But like, what's the just baseball fan part of you during this time of year in terms of following this stuff? You know, you, you see it. You see it on, you know, whether it's in the social media or, or the TV and stuff like that, stuff like that happening. But I, I think over the years and, you know, you know whether, you know, that adds to me being kind of in some talks over the last couple of years and all that, I just try to almost just turn it off. You know what I mean? And and really, me personally, is just trying to uh, control what I can control. And that's, you know, stuff at home, getting better, trying to get my finger right. It's not really, you know, getting too invested in and stuff. Uh, yeah, I guess we're just talking about myself out there. Right. Mm-hmm. But, um, so that's, that's kind of what I try to do. Yeah. You know, I, that's, that's it. That's it for me. It's, it's just kind of honing in on some family time and, and trying to get better and getting my body, you know, going for next year and, and working on swing and throwing program and kind of starting all these things. And, and that's the, the goal and task in mind for me. And it's, it's trying to just control what I control. And that's, that's for me, just kind of staying out of that stuff and, and seeing what happens later on, but, um, but not trying to get too worried about anything. Who's the newsbreaker in the group chat, though? Like, I, I remember one year Barucky told me that it was him, where he was like, yeah, I, I follow it close. I'm, I'm, I'm putting it in the group chat, like, what's happening during the offseason? Who is the person on the team that's that? Who's your, like, Rosenthal or Morosi, who's just like, guys, you see this? <laughs> yeah. I, don't, I don't know if there really is one. There hasn't, we haven't had a group chat or anything going on this year and all that stuff. Uh, I'm trying to think. Yeah, I'm 
yeah, if Rucky's going to say it was him back in the day, you know, it, it could have been. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't really got an answer for you right now, but um, <laughs> yeah, because it's because it's got to be the, the 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 tough one is is like you guys are in the mix for one of the most, I think, secretive dudes out there. Like, I just read an article on Shohei Otani's agent, Bolello, and apparently, like, he is just cone of silence everything. So I, it's like, I, I'm like, I, I take it with a grain of salt every single thing you read. But it's crazy to just think about the potential of what this team would look like when you land just, like, an uber superstar like that. And being a potential teammate, like, you don't, you got to kind of stay on the outside but you don't get sucked into the Shohei sweepstakes, like even just like a little touch, like a little tiny bit. <laughs> yeah. And I think that, you know, if, uh, you know, if that's, if that's going to happen and stuff like something like that does happen and you have time to think about it. And, but there, I mean, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Yeah, of course. Like you think about free agents out there and, and as a catcher, it's like, you know, with pitchers or all this stuff, you, you just like, maybe it's a thought, right? Like, Oh, like what would it be like to catch him and all these things? Um, or, or just play with them and all that. Yeah. So th- th- those, those thoughts come to head, but at the same time, it's, you know, you don't have any control over it, and uh, you just kind of follow along with it as it goes, right? So um, that, that's just the way I look at it. Yeah, so what about you, man? Because I, I know that you and the team have agreed to just kind of let this season play out, but that might work out extremely well for you considering, like, all right, not to get too far ahead, but have you looked at the catching market the year you're a free agent? I have not. No, I really haven't. Bro. You're going to be rich. <laughs> You're going to be big time rich because it is, it, it's like, there's nobody. It's you at the top. And then it's like the divide is massive. It's massive. You're, here's what I'll say. You don't have to look at it. Your agent better be looking at it because it's nice, man. It's really nice. So don't, don't get hit by the baseballs. That's it. Well, every year going into it, you know, it's, it's definitely, I'm trying to stay on that field and it is, it is, it is obviously crushed me. Right. So, yeah. um, so yeah, I, I don't even, I haven't looked into that. You know, I obviously I have an agent, you know, for a reason. And, and, you know, my, my biggest goal is to come into this season, be healthy, you know, uh, you know, log, you know, over a hundred games, hundred and, you know, 20 games and, and get to that. Cause that, that is, uh, you know, that's definitely my goal is to be on the field as much as I can mm-hmm. and, and to be fighting, fighting with the boys. And, uh, you know, there's nothing worse than watching, you know, there's, there's a couple of times where I've been, you know, I had to stay back from a trip or something like that, had a checkup, and you're watching a game on TV. It's the weirdest thing. It's the weirdest thing when you're watching your, your guys out there on, on the TV when you're hurt and you're in a you know, hotel room somewhere and, you know, waiting for a checkup. And, and so that's stuff that, you know, obviously you can control as much as you can, but I think through every injury I've learned kind of more about myself and mm-hmm. I'm trying to definitely, you know, bowl trip this body to, to be ready and, and get out of the way of these pitches and, and, and you know, Definitely on the hands is, is priority number one for me. Good. I'm glad that we've learned that throughout today. Did Did you want to get something done though? Like, would it, would it would have been your preference to go into the season knowing that you had a long term deal, or were you happy to kind of play it this way? Yeah, I, I just wanted to. Um, you know, I just wanted to be on the field, man. And and you know what? Like that was something that again, it was you know, um, they have an agent for a reason, and he, and he handles that stuff. And and uh, you know, the, we we you know, talk, you know, between two sides and stuff. And, you know, we agreed, um, you know, just let it, let it play out and see what happens. And, and, you know, that was just something just to go out there and play. And yeah. that's, that's, uh, you know, that was, you know, sim- simply, you know, it's it for myself for, for, you know, that time. And, uh, and yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's where I was at. But your relationship, you and the team, like everything is totally fine. Like there's no any bitterness or anything about stuff like that. No, no, there's no, never, never, bitterness never you know bad blood or something or something not getting done and all that stuff it's just hey we're just gonna not you know both sides agree and we're just gonna go out there and play and and i'm trying to stay on the field i'm trying to control what i can and and that's you know myself being on the field that's the stuff i can control right and and, yeah. and and behind the plate and, and you know trying to you know be a wall and 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 you know obviously rbis and do all these things and just help out as much as i can you yeah. know yeah that makes sense man and again i really do hope that you stay healthy because yeah since you made that big adjustment at the plate it started to become the like big pull side power hitter. Um, you've been 242 with 32 bombs and an 817 OPS. So yeah, if you can play 120 games, that's going to be that that adds up to like over 25 home runs in a contract year. Plus, yeah, it's pretty clear that the Blue Jays needed your bat because when yeah you ended up being sidelined, uh, it was a it was a bit of a tougher watch. So hey man, best of luck this season. Best of luck with the off season. Um, I guess keep trying to stay off the Twitter, but maybe you do want to be the insider and just, you know, you're allowed, you're allowed to keep dreaming about potentially Shohei. All right. 
<laughs> I appreciate you, man. Thanks a lot. Hey, no problem, dude. See ya. Danny Jansen, Blue Jays catcher.